My name is Shadi Khosh. I'm the Regional Vice President for Development for Middle East for Marriott International. Well, listen, uh, first of all, thank you for joining Breaking Travel News here at Future Hospitality Summit in Riyadh. Uh, it's great to be here. Um, give us some news. Well, it's really definitely great to be here. I really love to be in this, uh, in this event. You can feel the buzz uh, all around. A lot of people, a lot of owners are present as well. So uh, uh, super exciting times and super exciting times for Saudi Arabia. Um, look, from our perspective, Marriott, uh, from Marriott's perspective, Saudi Arabia has always been a massive, massive growth potential for us. Um, we have around 38 properties operating right now in the kingdom. We have 40 in the pipeline, so that's almost as much as we have existing operating right now. And uh, luckily enough, uh, we have been growing in practically all over the all over the kingdom. Uh, we are super excited to be, of being present with. Um, present in the big mega projects uh, like DGDA, like Neom, uh, the Red Sea, uh, Al Ula as well. We signed last year an autograph collection in Al Ula. Uh, we are present as well in the, we will be present down the line in the holy cities with uh, potential opportunities coming online. We will have around 7,000 extra keys coming into the market in these holy cities. Uh, we have 4,000 more or less on Fairf uh, under the brand of Fairfield in Mecca. Uh, a thousand keys on the aloft uh, that will be coming into Mecca as well and we have courtyard 500 keys coming into the market that's only Mecca when we moved to Medina we were very happy to announce north of 4,000 keys with Royal Medina a very strong partners of ours that will bring in one time eight of our brands into the market um, on the uh, uh, part of the other brands that we will be growing as well is a Sheraton, a 600 key Sheraton that will be coming into the market in, in Medina. And obviously we, we will not uh, forget the main cities such as Riyadh and, uh, and Jeddah. Uh, Riyadh has been a very strong growth market for us as well. We are very happy to open the St. Regis. It's a boutique, 80 key hotel uh, next to the Ritz Carlton, but I have to say it has really found the luxury market in Riyadh. Uh, if you didn't have the chance to visit it, go and have a look. It's an amazing product. Um, and just yesterday, we announced the signing of a 280 key JW hotel in Jeddah. It will be present on the Corniche in a prime location, and um, we're very happy to partner with the Bindawood family uh, to grow that brand in Jeddah. So that's an incredible, incredible story. A lot what's, happening. What's happening? You're a busy, busy, busy business, busy man. What's fueling the growth? Um, look, from our perspective, Marriott has always been uh, an operating model that grows both on managed and franchise, I have to say. And both, are ma both the models um, uh, grow quite fast here in the kingdom. Traditionally, the kingdom has always been a managed uh, property, hotel operation uh, kind of territory. Uh, but we've been seeing more and more the franchise uh, model growing. I'm very happy because this is a model that will grow actually the select service. Um, another uh, another um, kind of item that has been growing or uh, pushing our growth within the kingdom is conversions. We have a lot of conversion brands, conversion friendly brands, uh, such as the collection brands. We have tribute portfolio, autograph collection, as well as the luxury collection that can adapt to existing properties uh, where owners would like to have them under our brands. We have uh, other conversion, uh, conversion friendly brands such as the Four Points by Sheraton as well as Delta by Merit. That's on the conversion front. Uh, another, um, I would say, uh, section of our growth that has started last year but I do see a lot of potential for is branded residential. Uh, we launched last year the Ritz Carlton branded resi uh, residential with uh, the Raya Gate here in Riyadh, and it's seen um, uh, a lot of uptick in the in the market. A lot of owners are interested in acquiring and owning Ritz Carlton residences, and we have followed up this announcement with uh, Ritz Carlton in Khubar as well in the eastern province. Uh, it's a boutique hotel as well that will have branded residential, and even in Khubar. Um, this, uh, this branded residential component has seen a lot, a lot of interest uh, and hopefully and it's, uh, hopefully it's something that will continue to grow uh, inside the world. You have an incredible portfolio obviously under the Marriott kind of umbrella. Tell me about sort of how you go about launching a, a brand in the market. 
Well, usually, most of the time, what we try, we, what we try to get a sense is, is try to get a sense of where the market is in terms of uh, growth cycle, right? Because in the end, what we would like to offer is the right brand in the right location uh, with the right owners. That's the three kind of triangle uh, pillars for us in development to look into opportunities. And as soon as a market is growing and, and diversifying, uh, we will be able to position the right brand for them. Uh, for them. Uh, we've seen a lot of the luxury growth in the kingdom, for example. Uh, right now, currently, part of the 38 uh, current properties, operating properties that we have, only 15% are on the luxury front. When you look at the pipeline, we have 40% of our pipeline on the luxury. So there is a lot of demand on the luxury front. However, that doesn't mean that all on the other segments uh, there isn't demand. We've seen a lot of demands on the premium uh, segment uh, with brands of ours such as Sheraton, such as Le Meridien, uh, such as Marriott. And at the same time, a lot of growth on the select service with brands like Courtyard, like Aloft, and like VC Bandit. And obviously with all of this growth going on, how do you maintain a coherent, consistent guest experience? By having the right owners with us. From the beginning, we have owners who are committed to uh, the hospitality sector and are committed to their investment. And these are savvy owners who do realize that in order to stay competing and in order to maintain the life and value of their assets, they need to invest on it and make sure that it stays up to standards. And uh, that's why we go through a very thorough check as, uh, as we look at opportunities to make sure that these are the owners uh, that will be able to um, pick up and lift our brand flag in, uh, in the country. And lastly, how important are events like Future Hospitality Summit to you? These are very, very important events because uh, on one side it allows us in one place to connect with our peers, connect as well with our owners, but at the same time to discuss a lot of the uh, future initiatives on the, in the hospitality sector that are happening and listen to the initiatives of the government as well and the, uh, the interests of the government. It's a very important uh, event for us and we look forward to it every year. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us today. Thank you, Justin. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having us.